Today I'm going to show you how to put voice acting in your RPG Maker game. First of all, you'll need something to record with. I highly recommend the program Audacity. It's completely free, super easy to use, and it's amazing. Plus, it can export to .ogg, which is the only sound format, as far as I know, that works with RPG Maker. So with Audacity open, I'm just going to record a couple lines. Um, I'm actually going to add voice to this, so I'm just going to use this as my script. The fire is too hot to pass. Maybe I can use something to put it out. There we go. That was pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to export audio, current selection. So I'm going to save this in the SE folder, but you can save it wherever you want. Um, just make sure you know what you're naming everything because it can get easy to lose things. So here we're going to go to OGG Vorbis which you can see all RPG Maker sounds are in that. So VO1 for voice over one, export. Now we're gonna do the same thing, select the second line, file export, VO2, selection, export, okay. All right, so those are already in my folder. If they're not in your folder, um, like say if you save them to the desktop or something go up to game open folder and this will open your games folder and then from wherever it is you can drag it into the audio and se folders um, as far as i know it does need to be in one of these folders and each one of these does act differently so just keep that in mind i found that se or sound effects is the easiest folder to keep things in i don't know what me is let's learn together oh this is like stings so like, you know, da 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 da, or you know, like game over music or what, like very short music, essentially. But I'm sure you guys probably already knew that anyway. So you want to play the sound before the text. So we're gonna play S E V O one. The fire is too hot to pass. Now before you play the next one you want to put stop SE. The reason for this is if your player is button mashing, all the voiceovers are gonna start playing on top of each other, so you want it to stop whatever is currently playing before moving on to the next sound effect. So again, play SE, say VO2. Maybe I can use something to put it out. And then again, stop sound effect. And that's it. That's how easy it is to put voice acting in your game. So let's try it out and see how that sounds. The fire is too hot to pass. Maybe I can use something to put it out. And if I button mash, the f maybe I, the f maybe the fire. It maybe I can. There you go. It is that easy to put voice acting in your RPG Maker games. Uh, I hope that helped. I hope that you guys do put voice acting in your game. And if you'd like a full sort of course on actually voice acting and how to sound not bad, uh, let me know because I, I used to be an actor. I have done some voice work in video games, and I'd be happy to share some tips with you. And if there's any other RPG Maker tutorials, please leave them down in the comments uh, if you have any requests. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.